Greetings friend, in this tutorial I will share with you two of my favorite tricks involving Sudoku triples. I guarantee the second one will help you solve the most difficult New York Times hard Sudokus you can find. Puzzle and video links are in the description below. And with that, it's solving time. Okay, look at the purple cells here in block nine. These represent the three missing digits in the block. This makes them a naked triple right they have to be three possibilities to fill the block i'm going to show you the quickest way to solve these three cells using what i call my neat naked triple trick if you're new to smart hobbies i welcome you subscribe tap the bell if you want to turn your passing interest in sudoku into a fun and enjoyable hobby you know we have a one two four five six and nine in the block so we're missing a three seven and an eight in these three cells now look at the green cells. What you might notice is that we have a seven and an eight in row seven that are looking at this purple cell. And then the eight in this green cell is repeated of one of these two and it's looking at a different purple cell. This is the basis of my neat naked triple trick. Whenever you see this situation, you know it's certainty you can solve all three cells. Since the seven and eight are in the row, this has to be your three. Since the H right there, this is the only place the A can go, and the last digit will be a 7. Okay, so whenever you see two of the three missing digits looking at one cell, and then one of those is repeated looking at a different cell, you can solve all three. I am going to give you a couple more examples here to practice the neat naked triple trick. I do want you to know I cover naked triples along with the other six most common Sudoku strategies in my Sudoku solving guide complete with definitions diagrams and solving links click on the pinned comment to download it today for free all right let's remove these marks and i'm going to give you some a chance to practice this okay let's look now we have three cells here in row nine now see if you can use the neat naked triple trick to solve all three cells well i'll give you a few seconds Okay, congratulations if you spot it. I think you're picking up on the concept here. What you want to notice is that you are missing a 1, 8, and a 9. And you have a 1 and 8 right here with the 8 repeated right there looking at this different cell. Which means we can solve for the 9 right there. This is the only place for the 8. And we can solve this cell for a 1. Okay, this is the more traditional method where you're looking across the row and you have two... Uh, in the column here and down and you have one repeated in the column let's try this again i'm going to get rid of the colors really quickly you see these two threes we can solve for three right there and we'll set up another neat naked triple trick up here in row one okay you see the three colored cells now see if you can solve all three of those cells while i give you a few seconds all right, congratulations. I think you're picking up on this. Okay, you know we have a 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8. We mean a 1, 6, and a 9. Now, there's a couple ways to do it. You have the 1 and the 9 right there, and then you have the 9 repeated right here, or you have the 1 repeated right there. Either way, you're going to be able to solve all three cells. With the 9 and 1 right there means this has to be your 6, the only place for the nine would be right there, and this can be your one. And you're going, okay, Timberlake, you said three digits, we have four. Well, it's three minimum. And so if you have this extra one, you may have solved the one and the nine here and the one repeated and solved it that way. You could have up to six cells that would be in green. Like you could have a nine to six in column two, you could have a one to six in column five, and you'll have that situation when you're getting near the end of a solve. That's what I love about this. You can use it at the beginning, the middle, or the end of the solves, and you can have extra digits. As soon as you see the first three that apply, apply that neat naked triple trick. Okay, I want to give you one more wonderful example to look at because we haven't done this going down a column yet. So let's go down this column and see if you can apply that neat naked triple trick and solve all three cells while well, I give you a few seconds. Okay, congratulations. You're getting good at your cross check. All right. You'll notice you have the seven and the six right there. 
and then you're going to have the seven repeated right there. So then it's a little tricky using this up in the block, but it works, right? You can put the five right there. This is the only place the seven will go, and this has to be your six. And if you're finding value in what I'm teaching you, please consider buying me a coffee or just simply click on the super thanks button here in YouTube. I'd really appreciate it. And now that you're an expert on the neat naked triple trick. Let's move on to the next trick I want to show you that will get you stumped when solving the New York Times hard puzzles if you don't know about it. I found this puzzle on a Cracking the Cryptic video where Simon Anthony was talking about how to find cripples. I learned so much from these older videos featuring classic Sudokus. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you wish CTC would solve more classics on their channel. I'd love to hear from you. If you are getting stuck on the New York Times, like hard stuck, it's probably because you don't know this trick I'm about to reveal to you. I call this trick the three plus three, and we're going to be able to use it to solve a nine here in block seven. Okay, first you need to see three digits in a block. Okay, we have a six, two, and a one right here in block seven. All right, that's cool. So you'll notice, I'll put these in green. Second, you're going to need three empty spaces in a row or column in that block. So here's our row or column, the empty spaces. This is going to be our kill zone where we're going to do some solving. Okay. And then last, you need, and most important, you need three different digits outside the block that see the empty cells. So three different than the one, two, or six. If you look up column one, you'll notice there's a three, five, and a seven different digits. I'll put those in red that are looking down in here. This is how the magic works. Basically, you put a lot of pressure on here because there's three empty digits here and the Sudoku houses are made up of nine. You know, we have three empty here, we have three here. These three digits, the one, two, six, get forced in the only three remaining digits in column one, right? Because you have three empties here, there's only gonna be three left. So we can put a one, two, or six right up there. And this is gonna be a hidden triple and by hidden triple the difference is the hidden triple the one two six have to be in these three spots so we can remove all of the candidates from those three cells and in theory you can remove the two from here you can remove the one from there because they're already in those rows so this is the awesome you get to put a hidden triple here you also get to put a hidden triple down here in block seven right because you have this three five seven here and this comes up quite a bit since it can't be in these three empty cells, and it can't be the three that we already had, they're forced into these three cells right here. So you have the three, five, seven right there, and we can remove the five. And so you'll see it fills up the rest of the block. It fills up the rest of the column. And so now you only have three choices left for these three cells, and it's gonna be a naked triple. And so in this case, we're missing a four, eight, and a nine. Well, you notice we have a nine here and a nine here. So there's only one place left for the nine. It has to be in this cell. And it's because we know the three plus three. I talk it these three plus these three allow us to fill out the remaining part of the block, the remaining part of the column, and we're able to solve that for a nine. See how many triple cell tricks you can spot in this next video. I know that these tricks are going to help you get even faster and more accurate at solving Sudoku puzzles. Thank you so much for watching.